What's good folks, Rudd's here. Today's soap review features Murphy and McNeil, Gail Locke. This is an upcoming collaboration project that Murphy and McNeil has undertaken with John Perry and Chicano Designs. You may know them from Instagram, Facebook, or the other uh, social media platforms at which they uh, participate on. Um, the project supports the Wounded Warrior Project uh, with a portion of proceeds going to that charitable fund uh, which supports our veterans um, that you know have have given the ultimate sacrifice in battle um, so definitely a worthy charity with this release the release itself happens this saturday july 13th 2019 at 9 a.m central time uh, at murphy and mcneil's website and I believe it will also be carried by Stockus, MaggotRazors.com, as well as Top of the Chain if you're in Canada. So Gail Luck is a tribute to hardworking folks that uh, get up every day, rise and grind, if you will, uh, without any intentions of recognition and just put in the hard work. The name comes from the uh, Gales Norse culture, which existed in the Viking Age when the Vikings sailed south and uh, took root in Scotland and adopted some of those cultures and uh, kind of made a subculture, if you will. This is an homage to Creed Viking. A popular men's fragrance. I cannot speak to the uh, accuracy of it because I've not smelt Creed Viking. The fragrance features notes of bergamot, lemon, pepper, rose, peppermint, sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, and lavadin. And to my nose, this is a uh, aquatic with a uh, minty tone to it. Very fresh for uh, summer use, I think. Surprisingly, Mrs. Rudd's is uh, neutral on this one. I thought for sure she was going to love it because a lot of the uh, feedback was that this may be one of the best Creed scents around. Um, she does not find this as sexy as Aventus or Silver Mountain Water. I think maybe it's a bit too, uh, mature for her, uh, scent preferences, if you will. Scent strength on this is mid off of the soap container and remains mid once lathered. And while I don't think there's anything really close to this, uh, try that soap.com pointed me to Phoenix and Bo Solaris as a potential uh, cousin of it, if you will. So this release features Murphy and McNeil's uh, tallow and duck fat soap base, but it's been tweaked slightly um, in order to make the soap base a bit firmer. This particular soap base is of mid firmness, in my opinion. Still a very thirsty soap. That really requires a uh, good amount of hydration to really get it where you want it to be. When you do arrive there, you'll find that the lather has the consistency of Elmer's glue. Very low structure, high density lather with a very noticeable bright sheen to it. Slickness, both primary and residual slickness on this soap are excellent. And the post shave is elite. Really one of the uh, best post shaves you're going to find in the uh, wet shaving space. Given this experience with the soap base, the tweaked version that is, 
and the metrics we just mentioned, the shape score for this particular soap base comes in at a 95. For similar performing soap bases, I'd suggest you check out Declaration Grooming Bison Tallow or Holy Cow's Donkey Milk. As you'd imagine, wonderful face shave this evening with the Murphy & McNeil Gale Lock uh, soap. And uh, what a beautiful scent this is. Really makes me want to go out and source a uh, small vial of uh, Creed Viking to see if uh, it's something that I'd be interested in wearing moving forward, despite Mrs. Red's only being neutral on it. Uh, congrats on this scent. I'm honored to uh, have been sent this set for review. Um, and I'd like to do something for the uh, the audience here as well as the Wounded Warrior Project. Murphy and McNeil actually sent me um, another set, the mentholated version of this soap, um, which many of you know I won't ever use uh, because of my sensitivity to menthol. So I'd like to do a raffle with this. Uh, it will come with soap and... Uh, Aftershave Splash in the uh, white variant, which is mentholated. Black um, is not mentholated. Um, we'll, we'll do it a raffle style. So my email is below in the video description. If you want to enter, send me an email and claim your number of spots. Please use Murphy and McNeil Gale Lock in the subject line so that I can keep track of all entrants, uh, all email entries. We'll keep it open till July 21st at 11.59 Eastern, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, at which time we'll do a uh, random drawing and the number chosen uh, will correlate to a slot. I'll put all the names in a spreadsheet um, and uh, whoever wins will win the soap and aftershave. We'll make this open to both U.S. and international folks. If by chance an international uh, participant wins, I'll have to sub out the aftershave splash, which contains alcohol with the uh, Gale Lock Balm, um, which does not contain alcohol. Uh, so get your emails in to me, please. And uh, again, we'll keep this open till July 21st, 2019 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget to order if you're not interested in participating in the raffle this Saturday, July 13th, 2019, 9 a.m. Central Time, direct at murphymcneil.com or at maggardrazors.com or top of the chain in Canada. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.